It's Friday, June 15, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and I'm looking forward to a brand new tie this Father's Day weekend. Friday's here on the show. I take a look back at some of my favorite stories from the past week. So let's get right to it. Our top story, a couple of members of the Bush administration have been subpoenaed by a congressional committee to discuss the politicizing of the Justice Department. Remember Harriet Myers? Well, she was proposed by President Bush as a nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court and uh, her qualifications were, let's say, a bit underwhelming. Well, now she's subject to subpoena. And when asked for comment, Ms. Myers said, What's a subpoena? Turn to health news in this country. There's a big beef recall because of possible E. coli. So be careful of the beef you eat. And those of you that eat at McDonald's, well, you have nothing to worry about. I said beef. The Church of England is upset at Sony Studios for a new violent video game, which they say is sick. They are especially outraged because a major English cathedral of theirs is depicted in the game. They will not stand for it. They are outraged. They said, however, that they would be appeased if Sony would just cut them a check. That's what they said. Cut them a check. Does anyone smell the hypocrisy? This is ridiculous. This would be like if somebody did something atrocious and the church said, yeah, we know you're a sinner, but if you just make a nice, chunky donation, we'll give you absolution. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not a good example at all. They already do that. The Watchdog Group has raided major online organizations and they have decided that Google comes in dead last for protecting our privacy, which is really bad news if you want to maintain your privacy, but great news if you want to stalk your ex-girlfriend. In other entertainment news, director Steven Spielberg has officially announced that he's endorsing Hillary Clinton for President of the United States. He thought long and hard about his choice and he finally decided that uh, Hillary deserved his support because she really is the best actress in a leading role. In other news of the 2008 election, candidate Rudy Giuliani has a new platform from which to campaign. He's calling it his 12 vows. And you gotta say, this is a guy who really knows what he's talking about when you consider the number of times that he's taken wedding vows. And finally, I wrap up each week with my news quiz question. Today's question is about actor Matthew McConaughey, who was just named People Magazine's Bachelor of the Year. The question is, what is the essential quality about Matthew McConaughey that makes him such a great catch? Is it A, his arrest record for possession of marijuana, B, his love of naked bongos, or C, his refusal to bathe? That's the ointment for another week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Father's Day, Dad.